Hey everyone, this is my walkthrough on Paper Mario, and we're just about ready to start chapter 2, but first, I want to get some things done first. Hey mister, my dad opened his shop, do you want to take a look? It's really cool. Um, I thought I'd show this really quickly. Uh, this is, um, a badge shop, and it's really cool if you actually go there, because they actually do have some really good badges. We have a lot of rare badges, take a very close look. Alright, let's see what they have here. Um, they have a speedy spin, which is cool, because it, uh, lets you spin dash quicker. Uh, you have first attack, which means you can destroy an enemy instantly with the first strike, and then the D-down pound. I know I'm gonna want the speedy spin later on in the game, so I, I might want to get that, and then maybe, um, yeah, I want to get this one. Hey look, there's Chuck Quizmo in the background! Awesome, I can get my peek badge now! So we need one BP to wear this. I'm probably not gonna equip it until I get more BP, so yeah. And then, I want to get this first attack badge, I think. Yes, I would. Shit, I need to get some. Alright, well, here's the Chuck Quizmo challenge, because I know we need to do this. Go, is everyone's favorite quiz master, Chuck Quizmo. Want to try a quiz? Yeah, it does. Alright, cool. What's the question? Question. What is the color of the block you can break with the first hammer you got? Yellow. Correct! Red are badge blocks. Uh, red are badge blocks. And gray, we have not been able to break yet. So yeah. Now since we have 10 star pieces, we can go get that peekaboo badge. Which is going to be really, really helpful. So I don't have to bring out goddamn Goomba uh, Goombario anymore. Which means he is now useless. And by the way, if you go on this path, so we're going to head back to Shrews our Stomach. Or we're going to take the path that was below it. Um, at the very beginning of it. We're going to go into here, which is um, Lovely's place. Uh, we are, we're not going to talk to Merle Lovely right now. We're going to go upstairs to Merlo. Uh, because he's the one. He or she. I don't know. Probably. Talk, damn you. Damn you, talk. I'm the famous Merlo shooting star stunning. Got any star pieces? I'll swap my badges for them. Yes. Which badges do you want to swap for? Uh, we definitely want the Pikachu badge. Oh, there are a lot of good badges. Uh, we're... D damn. The Zap Tap badge is available. Okay, I know I'm gonna come back here definitely because you're gonna want the Zap Tap badge. That is, a, that is another really good badge to get. So I might get that too. And as well as the Feeling Fine badge because the Feeling Fine badge is also a really good badge because it allows. Um, I don't think your enemy. You can't be hurt by poison or um, something else. I can't remember. Alright. So there's the Pikachu badge. Crap, I also want that power bounce, because that's seriously going to help us out la later on in the game. So, I might have to take out my power jump. And... Refund for now, I guess. Yeah. Damn. In close call. We're going to equip... Oh, no, wait. I still have one more BP. Um... Let's just equip close call again, I guess. Yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. There's one more thing. Now, so... We're, we went through the center of town. We're coming down to the south. You couldn't go here before, by the way. Uh, only after chapter one can you go down here. But anyways, if we go over here, what the hell is this? <laughs> Puff! Well, hello there. My name is Bobo. I come from Flower Fields, the wonderful land of flowers. I love to spread the wondrous flowers of flower fields all over your land. You like flowers, don't you? Don't you? Of course. Who doesn't? For that reason, I trust you to care. We get the magical seed. This is really important, guys. This is really, really, really important. I'll explain that in a second. I'll explain it once we find our way to, you know. Okay, crap. I'm going the wrong way. So, you're supposed to go south again, and we're going to come over to the train station. I accidentally went west, which is not until chapter 5. Yeah, but we're definitely going to need, um, that... Magical seed. Uh, by the way, you're supposed to use bomb butt to blow up that rock so that we can use this train. I'll explain about more about the magical seed uh, when we get to where we're supposed to go. Well, thank you, Mario. The train's back on track. All aboard. This train is bound for Mount Rugged. Are you coming, Mario? Yes. Train's about to depart. Please board quickly. Uh, now to get to Dry Dry Desert, we have to go through Mount Rugged first. And Mount Rugged just shouldn't take that long. Probably, maybe. I could probably fit in one whole video or maybe two videos. Depending if I put like a little much of the first part in uh, the, in this video. Yeah, because I don't want any more interlude videos. Screw those. Ah! 
I love this music, it's so awesome. By the way, I'm looking at through my device, and this is probably one of the most cleanest images I've ever shot of this game so far. Chapter 2! The Mystery of Dry Dry Ruins! Alright, cool. By the way, if you haven't noticed, all the chapter titles in this game um, feature the name of the place that we're supposed to be at. So here we go, this is Dry Dry Ruins, and we are at Mount Rugged. Mount Rugged, Mount Rugged! Passenger heading for Dry Dry Desert or Dry Dry Alpha should proceed directly over to Mount Rugged from this station. Yeah, so we have to go through the mountain. Hey look, he's wearing a turban! Cool. Yeah, it, like, what is the situation with, like, religion? Because, like, I don't know, me and my friend have been discussing, like, certain things about, like, the Mushroom Kingdom, like, like, first off, well, we know that they're a monarchy. Oh, that's an egg. Uh, the egg's not really that useful, but I might I want to get that, rid of that fight jar. I don't think we're gonna really need it. Yeah, I think I should. Either that or the egg, because I really don't want that. I decided to throw a mushroom away because the egg is at 5 HP, so it doesn't really matter. Plus, I like some diversity in my inventory. Yeah, see that gray block? We can't break it yet. I'm pretty sure that's gonna have something to do later. Who harp block? I don't think we really need it. Yeah, if your um, health bar doesn't come up, that means you obviously didn't need a heart bar. Ah, no, confound it. Where could it be? <gasps> Yay, we get to one of my favorite party members in this game. Yay! Bonk. Oh, sorry, folks. Very sorry. I was looking for something and not watching where I was going. What now? Are you Mario? Yeah. Why? Why? Why you are? You're the Mario. Hello there. My name's Park Harry. I deliver letters. Um, I'm normally a letter perfect postman, but I'm having a bit of trouble with a lost letter. Dude, wouldn't you know, I dropped it on Mount Road and now I can't find it. If you happen to stumble upon a letter anywhere around here, please tell me, alright? My job could depend on it. I've been searching this area thoroughly for a while. Alright, now, you're not supposed to have to find one, you're supposed to find three, which does suck. Luckily, I know where all three of them are. And by the way, we're going to be coming up to some new enemies in this game. I think the first one should be right here. Ah! I think these are called... I know these... I forgot the official name of these, but these moles are... Um, they're pretty easy. They just take 3 HP. They're really annoying because they can throw their rocks at you. Ooh, wow, we're going to like get a level up really quickly, which would be good because I really would like to level up my HP and then my... Um, my BP, because I don't think we're going to need my FP, because it's actually pretty stable. Plus, since we're coming up with a lot of new enemies in this game, it's not going to be that hard for me to, um, you know, get more star, uh, star pieces and stuff. Anyways, yeah, that's a new enemy. You already seen it. Going to cut all the rest of the fights with it, because there's a lot. Ah, get through the wall! Yay, we leveled up! <laughs> by one, by two star pieces. Star points, sorry. Let's all up our HP, so now we have... Uh, 20, which is really nice. Uh, sleepy sheep, I don't want it. I'm over here. Ooh, yay, Waka. Waka, ooh, I'm a Waka. Just another perfect, picture of perfect day. Top Mount Rugged. The sunshine, the fresh air, so refreshing. Waka do. Waka dee. Waka, ow, don't hit me. Yeah, so now we get a Waka bump. Waka bump is a really, really good item to get this early in the game. It replenishes damn it. It replenishes uh, 25 HP and FP and obviously we don't have enough of either of those. Uh, sad thing there's only one Waka in each Paper Mario game because, you know, they're close to extinction, so yeah, definitely want to get that. The, um, I know that the, the one is here at Mount Rugged. The other one in Paper Mario and Thousand Year Doors at uh, Kill Hall Key. Like I was saying, uh, the first one is here on Mount Rugged, the second one's at Kill Hall Key and Paper Mario and Thousand Year Door. Can I please stop getting interrupted now? And... Okay, second one's at Kill Hall Key. Ha, you missed. And I don't know where the one in uh, Super Paper Mario is, but I know there is one there. Because my, plan... so my friends played the game and she says that there's one. Alright, now if we go this way... 
Wait a minute, what the hell am I doing? Yeah, I just forgot that. Wow, I'm an idiot. Yeah, I might be forgetting some things at Mount Rugged. Alright, didn't want to do that. Okay, after we get this first letter, I think I might have to stop the video, because, yeah, it is getting really way too long. So, that just about does it for Paper Mario. We got our first letter. So, I guess I'll see you guys next time when we continue on with Chapter 2, The Mystery of Dry Dry Ruins. See you guys next time.